G'day viewers, Seth here. What I'm going to show you today is how to change a flat tyre on a push bike. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the valve isn't leaking Otherwise, we might pull it all off and find, geez, we couldn't find the hole in the tube. Maybe the valve was leaking. So we better do that first. So all we need to do is use a bit of soapy water. I just like to spray a little bit on the top of the valve. And then all I do is I watch to see the top of the valve, around the valve, there's any bubbles. There's no bubbles, so we can be assured that this will have a hole in the tube. To get this off, the first thing we need to do is we need to let the air out of the, the valve <coughs> and remove the valve. So the way we do that is use one of these tools, these small little tools, valve removal tool. And we unscrew it. Next thing we do, this bike's got a quick release system on it for the wheel, which is pretty good. We just have to lift this up, see it there. That release of the wheel. There's a nut on this side, which hopefully it'll, it'll just lift off. If it doesn't, just wind that off a little bit. Now down the bottom here, the tyre itself may be getting caught on the um, brake system, so we just squeeze the tyre in. And as we do that, lift the, the wheel off. So there it is there. When we do this part of the job, we use these um, tools to lift the tyre off the rim. So we just gotta be a little bit careful when we insert these that we don't pinch the tube and create further damage. So I like to put one in about there. Put another one in around here. Just to get you started. Get another one in here. And that gets us going. And it's just a matter of working it around. And working the tire off the rim. Now we don't need to take it all the way off. We should be able to just get the tube out. The chill valve. You push that in and grab hold of that and then pull the tube out. The next part of the job is we'll just insert this valve back in. I like to take them out to have a quick check of them, make sure that the rubber, the little rubber seal at the top there looks okay. Is there any point there? Uh, it's not cracked or anything, so we put it back in. And then what we do is we put a little bit of air back into it. So we just clip that on. So now what we do, in this uh, bucket we've got water, it's half full of water. We're going to put this in and then we're going to look for the air bubbles. I found it already. Give you a look at it. So there it is there. But what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll just make sure that it hasn't got another hole in it. Oh, we've got it out. The other thing we need to do is just check in the tire to make sure that um, that hasn't got anything stuck in it as well. 
So we check the tyre, I just visually look at it at first to see if I can see if it's sticking out because it might still be in there. So a, a quick visual and looking at this I think I've seen a bindi. There it is, I reckon that's what that is. Looking at where the hole in the tube was. So I get a pair of pliers and if we pull that out I'd say that's what's possibly caused the issue. Yeah, there it is there. So you could probably just see it on the end of those pliers. Little tiny, yeah, they're very sharp. So I dare say that could have been what's caused the problem. Now what we're gonna do is we've got to mark where the hole is in the tire. <clears throat> that can be really difficult. What I like to do is I put it back in the water and I put my th finger just at the front of it, you can sort of see a few little bubbles there. And then all I do is I grab a little bit of chalk, just like so, it doesn't matter what it is, just to put a bit of a mark there. And I know that the other side of that chalk mark in the middle there is where the hole is. And now I know where it is, we'll go on to the next stage. The next part of the process is we're just going to dry off the water off the tyre, I like to go all the way around, that's pretty dry. So what we're going to do now is we'll let the air back out of the tyre. I like to take the valve out with this side, this part of the job as well, just so no air gets in under that patch and we can flatten it down. Then we can have a closer look at this. So, I know that the hole's now in between my two lines. What we need to do now is we need to roughen up this surface. So I've got a small punch repair kit, just a cheap one. It has a rubber solution, glue, and has a few patches in here. It also has the bit that we need to do next, which is rough it up. So. We'll just have a look at our patches. We'll use a patch this size. And we need to rough up the tyre a little bit bigger than the patch. So what we do now is we apply the glue to the patch area. Just remember it's got to be bigger than the actual patch, this, this part of the, the, the glue that you put down. And then what we need to do is we need to leave it till it dries properly. The glue is now dry. So what we'll do is we'll put this patch on. So we just separate it. Okay, we try not to put our fingers on any of that patch there. We'll just use the plastic part on the top of the patch to hold it. And then we'll put this straight down on top of that, where that hole was. It's right there. So then we just, you know, we've got to press this down pretty firm. That's what it looks like. So what we'll do now is we'll put the tube back into the tyre. So we'll start with the valve. Got that through and we just tuck in the tube, making sure we haven't twisted the tube. It's sitting down nice on the rim. Then what we'll do is we'll put the tyre back over onto the rim. Now hopefully this one will go straight on without using any tools, but we'll see. 
Beautiful. There we go. So I just like to bounce it a little bit just to make sure that tube's sitting right. Then we'll put the valve back in. We're now ready to put it back on. So basically the same way as we took it off. Just got to squeeze the tyre down the bottom here to get past the brake pads. And we line up the axle on the forks. Put that back in. And then we clamp the wheel down. Now just make sure that's tight. That's how you adjust it. You turn it in tighter. A bit too much. And we make sure the wheel's lined up in the brakes. Which it is. What we're left to do now is to pump up the tyre. But I won't do that for a little while yet. I like to let that glue set a little bit more. A little bit longer. Later on this afternoon we'll come back and we'll pump it up and we'll be ready to go. So that's it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.